crime alert in the hammocks. The Miami-Dade State Attorney's Office announcing the arrest of present and former board members for stealing from the Homeowners Association. Local 10's Laren Livingston live with what he's learned. Laren. The Miami-Dade State Attorney says the theft, the kickbacks, and the shell companies set up to not only launder money but also funnel it at least a million HOA dollars from the hammocks, allegedly at the hands of its board members and relatives. Well, they say it all spanned years. We knew things were wrong, right? We knew what was going on. We don't know the extent. Anna Danton says she and her neighbors and some 40 hammock subdivisions were being held hostage. We are celebrating that the homeowners are free. Frustrations, agitations, irritations have been festering for years in the hammocks. Residents pointing the finger at the ruling association board, raising concerns about elections. The former board president was arrested for theft. And they say their HOA fees nearly quadrupled. Anna says she and other neighbors started helping investigators with the state attorney's office years ago. Today, the Miami-Dade state attorney announced past and current Hammocks board members had been arrested on multiple charges of grand theft, racketeering, and money laundering, all accused of siphoning funds from the association and its residents. The board annually collected approximately $4 million, annually collected, approximately $4 million in dues that were paid by the homeowners. It appears that most of those funds and millions in HOA reserves are gone. Today we are alleging that the funds were stolen as part of an organized crime scheme. This is like a cancer. You know, this is something that is spreading all around. We're not the only community that is going through this. But Anna hopes these arrests empower other communities like hers. And there is hope. Don't give up. In the meantime, Anna says that she and those other homeowners, they expect to be in court later this week, hoping to put in place some sort of temporary receivership so they can get things back managed properly as soon as possible. In the meantime, at last check, Margli Gallego, that's the former president who was arrested earlier this year. She was also charged today. And her husband, Jose Gonzalez, along with Yoledis Lopez, Miriam Rogers, and Monica Gilardi, well, they're all still being held on bonds totaling more than $2.8 million tonight combined. And the state attorney says that this case is far from over. More arrests will likely come as this is still under investigation. We reached out to the Hammocks Association attorney. We were told no comment. We'll keep you posted. For now, we're in Miami. Laren Livingston, Local 10 News.